Welcome to Next Tech. Apple's initial two stores opened in Tyson's Corner Mall in McLean, Virginia, and in Glendo Galleria in Southern California almost 20 years prior in 2001, facilitating more than 8,000 guests consolidated in their initial two days. To plan for their great openings, Apple assembled a total model of a whole Apple store in a stock room close to its grounds in Cupertino to test floor formats. But what was the reason these stores have become a reason for a greater success than ever seen before? In today's video, we are talking about how Apple builds its stores. Make sure to watch this video till the end to see all the unusual but effective methods they follow in their building strategy. Retail stores addressed a colossal bet for Apple at that point, particularly for an organization that had been on the slope of monetary ruin a couple of years before it went into retail. Accomplishment of the Apple Store was not insured. Numerous individuals may not understand that the stores encountered some hindrances en route. For instance, the now notorious and hard to get a booking for Genius Bar floundered during the primary year. Clients were acquainted with managing administration demands via telephone and were awkward circulating their absence of specialized ability in broad daylight. Apple even explored different avenues regarding having even water in a fridge close to the Genius Bar to tempt clients to sit and invest energy with the masters. Presently, Apple works more than 500 stores in 25 nations, utilizes more than 123,000 retail representatives, and conveys a higher deal for each square foot than even Tiffany & Co. A way off McDonald's 19,000 square foot lead area in Chicago could be confused with an Apple store. Its square-shaped, glass-framed plan, and its breezy, moderate look and feel, joined with present-day looking furnishings, offer a few signs regarding what may have propelled the plan. The organization is considering it an encounter of the future store, an arrangement that propelled 4,500 store redesigns a year ago, and it intends to develop the idea. Different retailers are drawing motivation from Apple's store model. Apple has assembled a retail format different stores can acquire from. Flawless, insignificant stores with customized administration and encounters, including occasions and classes. It's become the default setting for store plan makeovers. In November 2010, Tesla employed Apple's previous VP of land, George Blankenship, who worked at Microsoft for a year earlier, who left Tesla in 2013. At the point when the Tesla display area previously opened, I met the head of retail for Tesla, a previous Apple retail fellow, said Carmine Gallo, a creator who has been reading Apple's retail model for over 10 years. I said, this helps me to remember an Apple store. He hung over and said, this is an Apple store. We simply sell vehicles. It's not just Silicon Valley's brands getting from Apple. The rundown of retailers adding components of Apple's model continues to extend and now incorporates brands like Samsung, AT&T, and Verizon, just as large box retailers like Kohl's and Walmart, which carried out Apple-style partners, helped check out around a year's age vacation season, computerized first excellence brand Glossier, which has stores in New York, Los Angeles, and Miami, models its stores as experimental item display areas, with items flawlessly exposed out in cleaned up spaces intended for revelation. With cautious thought to lighting and introduction, we contemplate Apple as we consider our plan and experience, originator and CEO Emily Weiss said in a new meeting. Apple's 506 stores have been praised as a retail example of overcoming adversity, yielding around $5,546 per square foot, as indicated by a 2017 CoStar study. For retailers just barely got by Amazon, the development of online business and obsolete stores that face declining traffic Appropriating components of Apple's model is an approach to inhale life back into actual stores. A clean, deliberately introduced choice of items, an assistance plan that looks like an in attendant, a space for occasions and classes, and a clerk less checkout framework are a few components retailers are attempting to duplicate. The shared factor is that they're all meaning to nail a way to deal with retail that is predicted on a sans glitch. Simple client experience. Everything is thoroughly examined, said Gallo. What does a store that enhances lives resemble? It will be perfect, cleaned up, and engaging. It will invite you inside a couple of feet or a couple of moments of entering the store. Despite the fact that the flight of Apple's SVP of retail, Angela A. Rents, in February drew concerns the model was looking drained. One industry source who has worked with Apple noticed that it's more of a sign that the Apple Store format is on a firm balance, an equation that can be traded effectively to different settings. 
A rinse fundamentally gave a structure effectively, the source said. The stores aren't intended to be circulated model for income. They needn't bother with the stores. There's a more profound appearance of the instructive mission now. It's not simply to spot to disclose to you how to fix or utilize your telephone. With more retailers seeking its model for motivation, Apple has begun to consider what the following move is to enhance its stores. It dispatched a future store model in 2016, which expands on its underlying suggestion and its currently refreshing more store areas. The redesigned stores include intuitive windows displaying items, an extended genius bar, the Genius Grove, with trees, an occasion space close to a video divider, public space with complimentary wireless internet, and meeting rooms for instructional courses. However, regardless of moves to consolidate components of Apple's model in a customary retail setting, other industry eyewitnesses say conventional retailers have neglected to do as such past a portion of the stylish components, and Apple Store retail components aren't really material to all conventional large box retail circumstances. A many individuals feel that the achievement is a result of the look, said retail location architect Sergio Menino, proprietor of a New York-based incentive plan firm. It's effective for Apple, however, not translatable, in light of the fact that the store is the ideal portrayal of what the brand relies on. What numerous retailers miss, he said, is catching the elusive components of the experience that are behind the stylish. Like what numerous online first retailers are doing today. Apple was one of the primary brands to build up the store that doesn't really have to sell. This is the thing that individuals don't duplicate, or on the off chance that they do, there's a more modest level of retailers that get that, Manino said. A store today is where you initiate your image, what you show what the brand rely on. All said and done, we should not fail to remember that Apple is a remarkable organization in that regardless of whether you separate its individual lines of business and view them as particular from the entire, it can in any case be viewed as highly effective in various zones. As an equipment organization, it's a triumph. As a product and administration supplier, it's a triumph and as a corporate store, it's a triumph. Furthermore, Apple's actual retail presence shows such consistent upwards development that it, instead of any item, could be the site of the organization's most prominent advancement over the course of the following not many years. Talking at a Goldman Sachs financial backer meeting on Tuesday, Cook broadly expounded on Apple's retail designs tending to the development and accomplishment of the organization's stores, just as plans for extension and changes to their sending technique in 2013. A Simcoe's Horace Dedieu envisioned the numbers shared, graphing the advancement of key measurements like store openings, store guest global conveyance, and more in a blog entry yesterday. Quite possibly the main measurements Dedieu followed is portrayed in the chart addressing store guests versus stores open. After the first growing their actual presence, all the more rapidly the averaging less guests participation immediately cut up and for as long as two years, stores have been averaging around 1 million for each open area. Apple's methodology this year includes opening new areas, yet shutting existing ones and supplanting them with bigger outlets, which should make for a significantly higher guest to store proportion later on if patterns proceed. Regarding cash put into Apple Retail's endeavors, we see a pattern that could bring about substantially more of a sort of development I suggested before. The Asimco graph for spending on property, plant, and equipment shows an enormous ongoing spike in cash focused on hardware, gear, and interuse programming, rather than typical consistent development for land, structures, and enhancements to the said offices. Since late 2009, when we start to see the bend begin to drift upwards more strongly, Apple has presented its own iPod contract-based look at and stock framework, supplanting an inheritance rendition dependent on Windows CE equipment, moved to iPad-based data comforts, changed the construction of its stores to de-stress checkout and feature genius and one-on-one -on -one client association, dispatched self-serve easy pay looking for clients presented in-store pickup, and just the most part changed the way the world considers physical stores. No biggie. Recall too that Apple's retail initiative has been fairly in strife as of late. Apple's SVP of retail operations, Ron Johnson, generally credited with significant part of the retail division's creation and achievement, left the organization back in June of 2011. A quest for his substitution, at last, brought about the dubious employment of Dixon CEO, John Browett, in January 2012, following a six-month search. At last, John Browett, was excused from that part in October 2012 after not exactly a year at work. Apple is as yet searching for a swap for Broyette. Apple is making trade more imperceptible, but then winning more customer dollars. 
It might seem like absence of an unmistakably characterized top man in retail would prompt vulnerability, yet Apple Retail had its greatest year ever in 2012. In the midst of every one of these purges and CEO Tim Cook said that the retail stores specifically have assisted the iPad with making the most of its runway accomplishment since dispatching in 2010. Cook discussed the name of retail not being adequate to depict what Apple is working with its stores and then some and that's only the tip of the iceberg that is getting valid. Actually, like the organization attempts to conceal components like the record framework in iOS or convey CE gadgets that aren't upgradable or measured, selecting rather for a smooth, engaging, and easy to understand outward appearance. It's likewise removing business from the store inside, however, as much as could be expected. But as an award, it's triumph more client dollars. You can gauge development regarding a progressive new cell phone or a significantly extraordinary PC plan, or you can quantify it in the total impact of a supported exertion to change a well-established practice. Apple's retail endeavors are the last kind, and its spending designs recommend there's a greater amount of that to come. This brings us to the end of the video. What did you think? Do you believe their unique strategy is what makes Apple Store so successful? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video, share it with your friends, and check out all of our other videos as well. See ya!